Hello my friends and welcome to episode 59. This might be a boring episode for some people, I don't know. We might attack enemies, maybe not. Um, because I'm gonna create my second fire team. So, abandon hope all ye who don't like inventory management. Because we are riding the inventory management train to managed inventory. I'm here, Cap. He's here, Cap. Skyrider here. What's your plans for the bird? Get to the chopper! Now all of you, all of you get to the chopper. Skyrider here. What's your plans for the bird? That's a big Roger cap. I'm here, Cap. All oh, right. All right, let's keep this game paused, shall we? I don't know how many people I can stuff into the helicopter. One more. Right, okay. Uh, trying to figure out what the hell I should leave them doing while I do this. Okay, everyone's in the sector. Right, first things first, who is going to be in the main team? So, Igor obviously, not Gumpy, Iggy obviously, Conrad obviously. Apart from his terrible wisdom, Mad Dog's actually very good. 91 agility, 92 dexterity, both really good scores. All he needs to do is improve his marksmanship and he'd be good to go. And that comes pretty quickly. Flo will never be on the primary team, so get out. Danny... He's got high wisdom, he's got great agility, his dex is not so hot. But he's better than MD. And you know Vince, ah oh man, you know, he's he's got potential but he needs a lot of work. He also makes for a good doctor. Okay, so Gumpy, Ira, Flo, and I guess Vince and Dimitri would never get, would never make the grade anyway. so funny that Ira has actually improved a huge amount. <clears throat> She's actually level 4. And her marksmanship is coming along. Her dexterity is actually pretty solid. His biggest problem is his agility is just total garbage and it's not easy to fix. God, I never thought I'd find myself saying this, but Ira actually seems to be the best character out of these lot. Okay. 
despite the fact that her petulant whining would get to me after a while. Uh, I'll bring Vince. I'll just have to work his marksmanship up. His agility shouldn't be a huge issue as long as I don't use him to sneak everywhere. He's got, like, really good health as well. Like, there, there's a lot of good things about him. Okay. Alright, so the teams are decided. Now, let's unload our gear. I wish there was a button to just strip everybody. But there isn't. Okay, the name's Mad Dog. I heard about you. So, barrel extender. that needs doing as well which is fine we can do that it's not an issue yeah let's put these down as well just, just because I'm gonna go through everything Right, no point in taking uh, Iggy's rifle away because no one else can use it anyway. That's a decision I can make later. Splendid. Conrad out of the box is actually pretty good. He's got bad agility though. Seems to be a rolling theme with some of these characters. So we make sure that the best characters get the best gear and they'll carry the team. God, this is like pain. You may think, well, why bother to do all this? But, you know, you really want to have a proper and full oversight of every character and what you have available and just do it all in the right order so you can be totally satisfied with it after you're done. the old G11. Sadly, not the greatest weapon in the game. Because of its special ammunition type, it actually does really good damage, but trying to find more ammunition for it is a nightmare. It's, it's dark and terrible. Man, I think I can make a full Spectra team here, more or less, with with great gear. Uh, you might as well hang on to that. Actually, maybe not. Do I have a good mechanic? 
in the main team? That's a good question. We will equip the uh, auxiliaries as well with whatever we have left. Got a mortar shell there. Okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> so this is the whole team. Right. Igor is clearly my best character. 400 items, sweet. So, let us begin. This one is actually quite damaged, but does enjoy a laser sight. Scope. Try and join up these mags so that they take up less space. Huh. Okay. Oh, I've got a full set of Spec 18 helmets, goggles, here. Med kit 100%, tool kit 100%. Okay, sun goggles, let's add a gas mask for you, just in case. I do actually have some spare compound 18. Right, let's take this. Am I missing something? Is that rod extender? Uh... Oh, I must be missing something. I must be missing the glue. Right. Okay. Two mustard gas. I can't really dole out the 7.62 because I need it for other characters. So while I'm sitting on a field of... Uh, of FNs here. I can only really afford to hand out two. Okay, and take a law with you. 
Bring the law wherever you go, out into the harsh wastelands beyond Mega City One. Okay, right, Mad Dog. Is that a scope in? I always forget you can't right click on weapons in here. Is that a, is that a scope uh, silencer on there? Okay, fine. Uh, where's the other one? I've got two of these, haven't I? It's a great weapon, but the, the ammunition is just ridiculously rare, and it's also painfully short range. Check all the ammunition is there. Both of those are 100%. Wow, you can have three mags in one tile. That's awesome. What kind of ammo is this? All oh, right, slugs, sweet. Okay, good. Ammo for both short and long range. Mustard gas, because mustard gas is good. Iggy's already got his gear. I need to do Conrad next. I think that's 100% kit. Sun goggles. A toolkit in good condition. Hang on to this compound 18 for a second. Because I don't have any other spectra pants. I love myself. Okay. All good. Next. Not you. Uh, yes, I guess you would be the next best character. Either you or Conrad, but there's not a huge difference. Ear, goggles, day wear. Let's go with a gas mask for you. Med kit. Two of these. Some of these are not. Some of them are not 100%. It doesn't matter until it matters, as they say. Forty-two mechanical. Is he actually the best mechanic on this team? No, Mad Dog is. Might as well have the lock pick. Okay. Any more rocket rifle ammo that was dragged back here, kicking and screaming? A big group of partial mags there. Um, where are my laws? I thought I had some extra laws. There they are. Blind. <clears throat> He's got heavy weapon specialization, so. Alright, nothing else to really do with him. Conrad! I think this thing is issue is its range is quite bad. 30, 50, 7, 11. Yeah, it's got a better burst and more rounds in the burst. But 40 range is actually significantly different to uh, 
to 50 and I do prefer the range. Let's double up. Spectra pants. Helmet. Unless I've got better ones, which I do. Gogs. Ear. Day work. Med kit. So many. Not completely 100% first aid kits. Neat and tidy. That's how it must be. Okay, now what else? Let's have him carry a lore as well. I'll be bringing these boys in to fight in Maduna to take out tanks or to at least ferry heavy weapons to the front line. some of this stuff out because I actually don't think that everyone's got top end attachments. Ha! Huh, this weapon, I actually put a barrel extender on it. This is actually a very good weapon with all these upgrades. Because of the sheer cheapness of firing it. I think this is the weapon he... One of my characters had originally. As far as 5.45, right? Actually a rarer ammunition type, but we'll, it will do. I could just, you know, burst the weapon until the uh, extender falls off. It's not actually a permanent attachment. You can make it fall off. But, uh, do you know what? It's actually not a bad weapon, stat-wise. And it uses an ammunition type that I will find that doesn't put additional stress on ammunitions that I do not have huge stockpiles of, so whatever. All right, back to Danny. That one's not full. It is now. Let's get the first aid kits in position. Toolkit, of course. That's the last of my extended ears. Spectra pants, Spectra vest, you can see I'm starting to run out of nice things. Might as well. for this instead of the... I was going to swap them, wasn't I? I was going to swap them and I never did. Okay, cool. Next. So, I'm drowning in 5.56. Not really drowning in it, but I've got I you know I have a hell of a lot. Let's 
try and stack things up so that they're not taking so much space. Um, okay, he's missing some gogs for day work. Oh, I actually have a spare... Uh, I didn't notice it. I need to close and reopen this because it's become a mess. Right, I don't think I need anything else. Why not? It's got a grenade in it. Bring it along. I did not bring a spare mortar, so... Right, just before I finish up, let's do a quick review here. Um, okay, that's fine. We'll see if we can find more ammo on the way. That's fine too. Danny does not have any grenades apart from the launched variety. Yeah, let's let's just stick with launched grenades. We might find some more. Uh, Iggy's heavy weapons. He does not have any grenades. He's not that overburdened either. Let's give him some some mini grenades. Okay, Conrad does not have any grenades. All right, Vince, our doctor. Dr. Vince. I'm all out of exciting pants to give you, so you're going to have to have Kevlar. And goggles, sun goggles for day work, no extended ears left. Well, that's okay. Might as well haul my drugs for me. Okay, um... Without pair of first aid kits. One of these is not full. That one. Try and be neat and tidy here. Okay, all right. I think that one's not full either. All right, he's uh, it's almost a full spectra team, you know, it's. It's not bad. It's quite close. 70 strength. Okay, he can do, he can totally throw grenades. Now, weapon. Decisions, decisions. He's a terrible, terrible shot. Now, obviously, I have FNs. Great kit. <clears throat> I have them. I could use them. But do I want to waste that precious ammunition when, you know, I'm still using 5.56 weapons with my main team because I don't have enough of this 7.62 really to be 100% secure in my in my dealings. Oh, 
Oh, there's already a laser sight in that one. No scope, though. The funny thing is, I might give my FN fouls to, like, other... to the auxiliaries on the idea that I would actually never use them. And I just want them to hold the, hold on to the weapons. Alright, let's clean up these half mags. Okay. Alright, it's not perfect, but it's something. Yeah, it's just funny. I have all these FNs, and I totally could use them, but I'd be worried about running out of ammo on them. I would rather use 5.56 wherever I can. That one needs repair as well. Let's just hope that I find enough 7.62 to make it not a problem. But for now, I'll stick with the idea that I'm going to run out. Just double check these weapons and just make sure that, uh, yeah, there's no attachments for that thing. that all weapons can have, that have uh, uh, attachments can have got them, whatever ones are available. Okay. So now, what to do about the junk characters? Ira is actually the best of the junk characters and probably would have been in the main group had she been just the slightest bit less annoying. Let's go with the gas mask and the goggles. The old day work goggles. Some grenades. Without a scope, these are kind of useless, which is unfortunate. Okay, fit for fighting. Dimitri is also another character who is relatively fit for fighting. I suppose if this auxiliary team gets attacked, it's going to be down to Ira and Dimitri. And to lead the militia to glory. Okay, nothing really more to add here. Apart from night goggles, probably be a good idea. MD 
Andy, not a terrible character. Not a great character. Sure, why not? I guess if I ever find a scope for it, you can use this as well. Oh, one of them is empty. Or close to empty. Okay, strength is alright. Might as well take some grenades, right? In fact, just take the damaged stuff because uh, it will be repaired. Hold on to that for me. In fact, hold on to both of these for me. Since I can't overload him with ammunition with these weapons. Not really overload, but you know what I mean. Okay, two first aid kits. For close encounters. Uh, no goggles. I'm all out of goggles. Gas mask. Gumpy fail times. It'll do. I got plenty of ammo for it. Although, actually, you know, now that I'm done equipping everybody, the 5.56 is disappearing. <laughs> now that I've properly equipped everybody. You can repair it. All these, all these items can be repaired if they're being held. Seventy strength. He's actually not that weak. Funnily enough. Ah, I forgot. He's the one. He's the one with the mechanical of zero. I guess that might help a little bit. That's it, I got nothing else to give him. And finally, flow. Last and most definitely least. But she does have mechanical skills, so she can repair. Unlike Gumpy. <sighs> so what weapon will rust in her hands? 45 strength. I doubt she could throw a grenade. <laughs> like, at all. Man, look at the amount of 5.56 we got through loading everybody up. Right, I'm going to get her to hold on to this. I don't imagine a world in which she actually uses it. <clears throat> but the thing is, I'm not going to use the hollow point ammo in any serious fight. It's just not going to happen. Because it's too unreliable. So, I might as well have, I might as well give her a weapon that is just significantly better than everything else here. But crappy ammo. And that's fine. Let me just convert these rounds. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Yeah, 
So, I'm, I mean, I'm never going to have her use... Hopefully, she'll never be in a fight. But I might as well give her a good weapon and just crappy ammo for it. <clears throat> because even with crappy hollow point ammo, it's still a great weapon. And, you know, we might get lucky and hit... Well, if we're in combat with Flo, it's probably... We've gotten very unlucky, but... <clears throat> we might be able to... Um, to win the fight, basically. And that's it. I don't think there's anything else I can do with her. I can't give her grenades because her she's just too weak for that. Let's hold on to these utility items. Oh, that overweights her really badly. Actually, just... No, they don't. It's just that she's weak. <laughs> she's just so weak. Fully armoured, she's she's terrible. Okay. Alright, and I think that's it. I think we're done. Maybe it would be wise for someone on the primary team to bring these along. You never know when you might want to cut a hole. All right, that's it. Whew, what a lot of work. Now, secondary team, get in the helicopter. You will be going... Skyrider here. What's your plans for the bird? That's a big roger, Cap. You will be going over here to... Uh, train militia in Alma because that needs doing and so that the primary team can be relieved now as for this team I want them to take out these boys here but before they do that it's very important that they actually maintain their gear because some of it is in a shit state <laughs> And then we'll march them across the map, which would be good for their health. I actually have a lot of, uh, I should have a lot of items in this sector as well, thanks to Bobby Ray's. So maybe I'll send the secondary team over there to collect it at some point. In fact, I could do that now. Nah, let's, let's not bother. We've got everything we need. There's a point of organizing to the point of insanity, so. Good, you can get over here and take over militia training duty. Skyrider here. What's your plans for the bird? I wonder if he ever runs out That's of fuel if you just keep cap. moving him around without triggering triggering the idle thing. I made it. Let's do something already. Yes, yes. You too. Train. Uh, you two switch to doctor you two switch to training militia flow still has garbage leadership so oh god she can't repair items because her mechanical is too low that's okay we will get her to teach herself mechanic until she can repair things. Then she can work on repairing stuff. Alright. 
Now, if I remember correctly, the primary squad's gear is all repaired, so we are ready to attack, more or less, as soon as we get our healing done. I'm here, Cap. And the secondary team will also be ready, just as soon as they're done maintaining the gear that I've just given them. We have a very capable secondary team now, actually. Oh yeah, some of the uh some of them are awful, but you know. I wonder when Merc is going to get on my case to pay. On break. I'm through here. I'm all done. Good work, team. Okay, squad one is ready. Our next destination is uh, Belim. Mitgemacht. Belim. We'll go down here and we'll rest and then we'll attack. In fact, just in case we get into a battle, I'm just going to say... No, I'm going to say forget it. I can save during battle anyway. I don't, I don't have enough episode time left to do a battle. But, you know, if I trigger one, we'll just halt it there. So I don't know what's in these squares. Ideally, I'd like to finish this episode here, having just topped up my health and ready to go. So all the boring maintenance is in one episode. But some people, you might be enjoying this. You might have listened to me the whole time. Just walk through my, my mental process. But yeah, you know, I didn't, I didn't, the, I think the thing that's most obvious or will be most obvious to some people that they'll disagree with is that I didn't use all of these FNs. I could have rationed out the ammunition. But the thing is, my main team really uses that ammunition and I don't, there isn't a huge amount of it going around. So, whatever I find typically gets used immediately. So... I would rather it be there so that I can retreat to that sector and top up if I need to. Wow, Flo is learning fast. She's already picked up two points of mechanical skill. I'm learning. I'm all done. Oh, is this Merc being like, please pay? Well, hello there. I <laughs> don't think you can get away with saying this kind of stuff anymore. Thank you, John, for your handguns. Trip completed. I'm available. Sweet, we got there. I think it's well and truly and firmly going to be daytime when we press the attack. Good work. I feel I've got a good vibe about Team 2. I do. I have a good feeling. Are these idiots going to attack? They're in for a world of hurt if they do. There are enemy forces present in this sector. Well, that's annoying. Shh. 
Right. Well, that's it for now. I'll probably auto-resolve this once I've retreated my dudes. Um, because these three... <laughs> ah, these three have got no ability. And this map is horrible. Because the enemy is, like, on the outside and all your militia are on the inside and they just get stuck on each other. And it just becomes very... very ugly. <laughs> I could even risk auto-resolving with that my mercs in the fight in the hope that they'll gain some battle experience but that is risky although you can retreat them during the battle in fact i might show that next time but anyway that's it for now i'd hope to attack baleem but i gotta i gotta deal with this first and then uh and then we'll go from there and i'll see you guys next time